head down the hill to Magellan. Speak to Magellan and he will offer you the quest you survived. All you have to do for this quest is head to the bottom of the hill and speak to Pronitas. Now head to Pronitas. Speak to Pernitas and turn in the quest you survived for 40 experience points. He will then turn around and offer you the quest replenishing the healing crystals. All you have to do for this quest is bring back 8 vials of moth blood from the Veil Moths which are located directly behind you. Now let's begin killing the Veil Moths. While killing the Veil Moths, if you find anyone laying on the ground with a purple ore, ask them for you to heal them. Try to remember these locations because this will be a quest for later. Speak to Pernitas and turn in the quest, replenishing the healing crystals for 80 experience points plus an item of your choosing. He will then turn around and offer you the quest, Urgent Delivery. All you have to do for this quest is head inside the building in front of you and go to Zaldan and give him his supplies. Now speak to Zaldan and turn in the quest, Urgent Delivery, for 44 experience points. He will then turn around and offer you the quest, Rescue the Survivors. All you have to do for this quest is head outside the building and look for anyone with a purple ore laying on the ground asking for you to heal them. Now find your class trainer. Speak to your class trainer for the class trainer quest, which will begin and end immediately for 84 experience points. Don't forget to learn any new abilities you can from them. Now let's sell those useless items you've collected along the way. As you exit the building, speak to Protonus and he will offer you the quest Botanist to Rex. All you have to do for this quest is talk to Botanist to Rex, who is located on the other side of this building. Now go out and heal one of the survivors for the quest Rescue the Survivors. Speak to Zaldin and turn in the quest, rescue the survivors for 220 experience points plus a quest item. Now exit the building and find Botanist Terex. Speak to Botanist Terex and turn in the quest, Botanist Terex for 44 experience points. She will then turn around and offer you the quest, Volatile Mutations. All you have to do for this quest is kill 8 Volatile Mutations which are located behind you next to the purple crystals. Now begin killing the volatile mutations. Speak with Botanist to Rix and turn in the quest Volatile Mutations for 170 experience points. She will then turn around and offer you the quest what must be done. All you have to do for this quest is bring back 10 Lasher samples. These are dropped off by the mutated root Lashers in the red leafy area behind you. Speak with Apprentice Vichelle and she will offer you the quest Botanical Legwork. All you have to do for this quest is go to the red leafy area and bring back 3 Corrupted Flowers. Begin killing the lashers and collecting the flowers. Speak with Apprentice Vichelle and turn in the quest Botanical Legwork for 250 experience points. Speak with Botanist to Rix and turn in the quest what must be done for 170 experience points. She'll then turn around and offer you the quest Healing the Lake. All you have to do for this quest is go to the irritated lake behind the crash site and put the neutralizing agent in it. Head around to the other side of the campsite where you'll find two people who will offer you quests. We're not going to take their quests at the moment, instead we're going to pass them up and go through the creek. As we exit the creek we'll see a large purple crystal which we're going to head for. Right click on this crystal to begin doing the quest healing the lake. Return back to the campsite. Speak with Botanist Tetrix and turn in the quest healing the lake for 250 experience points. She'll then turn around and offer you the quest of Vindicator Aldar. All you have to do for this quest is go to the other side of the campsite and speak with Vindicator Aldar. Now let's sell those useless items that you've collected along the way. Now if you're a shaman, let's pick up your level 4 shaman quest. 
Speak to your trainer and he'll offer you the quest, Call of the Earth. All you have to do for this quest is go to the Sacred Grove and speak to the Spirit of the Veil. Don't forget to learn any new abilities as well. Speak with the Spirit of the Veil and turn in the quest Call of the Earth 1 for 270 experience points. He'll then offer you the quest Call of the Earth 2. All you have to do for this quest is head forward and kill four restless elements. Now let's slay those restless elements. Speak to the Spirit of the Veil and turn in the quest Call of the Earth 2 for 360 experience points. He'll then offer you the quest Call of the Earth 3. All you have to do for this quest is head back to your trainer. Speak to your trainer and turn in the quest Call of the Earth 3 for 450 experience points in your first totem. Now exit to the front of the campsite. Speak with Advocator Aldar and turn in the quest Advocator Aldar for 180 experience points. He'll then offer you the quest Inoculation. All you have to do for this quest is use the Inoculating Crystal on six Alkins located to the south. Speak to Technician Zana and she will offer you the quest Spare Parts. All you have to do for this quest is collect four Admitter Spare Parts which are located in the same area as the Nestlewood Alkins. Turn around, cross the creek and the river, and head towards Nestlewood Hill. Begin doing the quest inoculation and spare parts. Once you finish collecting your items, head back to the crash site. Speak with Technician Zana and turn in the quest Spare Parts for 360 experience points plus an item of your choosing. Speak with Vindicator Aldar and turn in the quest Inoculation for 450 experience points plus a quest item. He'll then turn around and offer you the quest The Missing Scout. All you have to do for this quest is head southwest and speak with Tolan, who is outside Shadow Ridge. Quickly sell those useless items that were collected along the way. Begin heading southwest, pass up Silverline Lake, and find Tolan. Speak with Tolan and turn in the quest The Missing Scout for 110 experience points. He will then turn around and offer you the quest The Blood Elves. All you have to do for this quest is kill 10 Blood Elves which are in front of you in Shadow Ridge. Begin slaughtering the Blood Elves. Speak with Tolan and turn in the quest The Blood Elves for 360 experience points plus a quest item. He will then turn around and offer you the quest The Blood Elf Spy. All you have to do for this quest is head up the hill and kill Surveyor Kendris. Make sure you prepare yourself for this fight before heading into battle. Surveyor Candrus would drop a quest item called the Elf Plants. All you have to do for this quest is speak with Vindicator Aldar. Quickly hearth it back to the crash site. Quickly head back to the crash site and sell those useless items you've collected along the way. Speak with Vindicator Aldar and turn in the quest Blood Elf Spy for 674 experience points plus a quest item. Turn in Blood Elf's plan for 450 experience points and he will offer you the quest The Admitter. All you have to do for this quest is speak with Technician Zana. Speak with Technician Zana and turn in the quest The Admitter for 110 experience points. She'll then offer you the quest Travel to Azura Watch. All you have to do for this quest is go to Azura Watch and speak with Technician Divoon.
Now sell any useless quest items and at the same time pick up any regeneration gear you might need. Now begin making your way to Azura Watch.